So you guys literally have no clothes, but you still want to get into fashion. I got you, bro. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I think are the essentials to still be fresh as f do this. So the first thing that you're gonna need are some pants because being shirtless, you know, is somewhat socially acceptable, but being pantsless, you might get a little bit of unwanted attention. So the first pants that you'll absolutely need is a pair of black pants, whether it's denim jeans or chinos, you really wanna just make sure that they're jet black. That way you're not stuck when you want to go for a more dressed up look as these can be dressed up. Next one you're gonna want is a cream chino, being that it's neutral so that you don't have any of that color clashing and it's also just looks extremely elegant and it's gonna keep you much cooler in the warmer months than the black will. Now, moving up towards the t-shirts, the only two colors that you're ever going to need are going to be black and white. It's really up to you what fit you choose, whether that's more relaxed, fitted, or oversized. You just want to make sure that they're black and white. Now, onto your jackets. This is going to be probably the most important piece. It's really going to depend on what time of year it is for you guys and how cold it gets. But the first basic but still stylish essential I'd say that you need is a flannel jacket. Whether you want a plaid one or a solid color one is really going to be up to your personal style and how much you like to play with patterns. Now, you're also going to need a jacket jacket that's a little bit more structured, that's more dapper for those times that you want to go and do something nice. Some people might choose an overcoat, but I would say overcoats are sometimes a little bit difficult to style. And then also if you're a shorter guy, it can make you look even shorter depending on the length. So the best option I would give you guys is to go for a nice minimal bomber jacket. If you get a really nice one, these can really make your outfit look a lot more put together. Additional layers, you're definitely going to want a hoodie for the times that you just want to stay real casual and comfy. And also you're going to want a knit sweater as these really really bring that premium look to your outfit due to the nature of knit and also that most of the time that these are very minimal and aesthetic looking. Now for shoes, a lot of you guys already know what my answer is going to be, which if you guess a simple white sneaker, you're right on the money. This is literally going to be your holy grail for all of your outfits. I literally wear my white sneakers in the winter, springtime, summertime, and fall. So this is really the only sneaker that you'll ever need. Now for your accessories out of rings, bracelets, and necklaces, I'd say that the pendant necklace is going to make the biggest difference in your outfit. Your best bet is to choose a simplistic design like this bar pendant or a circular amulet one as this is going to give your outfit the most elevated look. And one of the most important essentials is a pair of sunglasses which is obvious for the summertime or just to protect your eyes from the sun in general. I normally go for a pair of black frames as it will go with all of your outfits but it really doesn't matter that much because you can choose a different frame and it's really not going to make that significant of a difference as your clothes would. The main thing with the sunglasses is just to make sure that they flatter your face and your you're gonna be looking like a massive beauty. So guys, that was about 11 items, and I think that's really all you need. I don't think you need much more than that, and realistically, I think you can pick up all of those items for probably under $400, so that's a pretty good start, and you got quite a few outfits to put together, guys. So if you enjoyed today's video, please smash that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!